So, hey there, listener. This is Do You Want to Make a Podcast? Yes, that is the name of the show. We just have a couple bullet points that we need to hit before we start. One, there's a fireplace. It's fake. I've ruined everything. <laughs> Wait, should we start over? <laughs> Take two. Hello, listener. You are you are listening to, because you're a listener. Take three. <laughs> This is... Wait, we should establish, like, what we want to talk about. What are the bullet points we need to hit here? I I got it. I got it. Okay, so we tell them that the show is called Do You Want to Make a Podcast? It is a fireside chat between two best friends who are on the hunt to create the perfect podcast. They have a lot of ideas, and they can't decide what they want to talk about. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's it. We that's 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 the synopsis. Like, then we'll then we'll plug the do we social want to media. Do like social media. Yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. So so we'll tell them to follow us at Do You Want to Pod, all spelled out. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also email us at Do You Want to Make a Podcast at Gmail dot com. That's it. That works for me. Wait, I think we just did it. We did it. That was my that was my plan all along. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Except hello, because now the show's starting. Yes, it is. Get some room tone, yeah? The amount of silence had the Jeopardy theme behind it. Yeah? From afar. I don't know if you can hear it. Do, can hear do, it. Do, do, it's happening do, do, in another room. Do. Oh, we, it, we, I thought you meant it like it was playing in your head. No, it was playing upstairs. I could not hear it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're hearing things, Jim. You're hearing things. I'm going crazy. I am crazy. Crazy tired. Every hey yeah, oof, you and me both. Everyone's everyone's crazy though, in their own way. I find. You know, Narles Barkley said, "Does that make me crazy?" <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I remember when. I remember. I remember when you, Jim Bloss, lost your mind. What a day that was. Ha ha ha! Bless, bless your you. soul. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bless bless my soul. I put up with you that fateful day that you lost your mind. <laughs> Come on now. Who do you uh, Who do you think you are? I think therefore I am. Oh, that's Descartes. Not, that's not it, a line in crazy. I'm answering your question. <laughs> Does that make me crazy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm not geez. sick. I just have this cough. Cancel cancel the show. All right, pack it all up, boys. You coughed into the microphone. Ah, uh, oh, jeez. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, so here we are. Here we are, all together. It's um, the new year has happened now. It's upon us. So uh, we talked how, about our resolutions. We did talk about our resolutions. I was going to check in with you. How how are your resolutions going? I've been playing video games. To the point where my eyes get all like droopy and you have to fight through it to keep playing video games. Oh, don't do that. And I know that my body's like cramped up in ways that it shouldn't be, but I'll just, just and your and your brain is side quests and my brain is all mushy. And like your brain's like, go to sleep. And you're like, or or I could punch this bad guy. Yeah, I can <laughs> it's just so much fun being Spider Man and J. Jonah Jameson in this <laughs> in this game, he's like no longer working at the bugle. But he has a podcast, which will just randomly come on. Wait, really? Yeah, he That's has a funny. podcast, and he's just like bashing Spider-Man, and people call in, and every time it's like, oh, Spider-Man's a problem because of this. They're like, well, actually, no. And they and the callers make it very plain that he's wrong. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, well, we're losing the connection, and he just cuts them off. That's funny. How's your resolutions going? Uh, well, my main resolution was to not die. And so, <laughs> right. And so... Uh, well done. That's going well so far. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah. If it, if it was going poorly, then... Uh, I'd be sad. Me too. <laughs> or dead. Or both. Well, you would definitely be dead if your resolution was a failure. Well, yeah, but I could be like... I could be struggling to like complete it. Got it. So I could be dying. Mm-hmm. Which... 
No, I'm not going to say that. Are you about to say that we're all dying slowly? Yes. Yeah, because we are. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just biology, right? Like the uh, what is it that aging and death is actually a defect in our DNA? Dying slowly, <laughs> sing, sing that melody. your melody. Oh, we've so still got, got time. time. Oh, you made it pretty. I was gonna make it like I'm dying, like time. Oh, I just ended up singing the actual song because it's a very good song. This is a good song. We recently saw that show. We did see once the musical. We saw a production of it in Philadelphia. It was very good. It was very good. I was. We were very close to the action. Yeah, uh, right up in the grills. F- feeling all sorts of things. Very talented performers and yes. musicians. Yes. For those of you that don't know, uh, the music in Once is very folky, uh, and all the music is created by the actors, mm-hmm. which at this point is a little bit of a common trope in musicals. But uh, at the time. What a that was a that was like yeah it was one of the few doing that yeah well and and I mean like <laughs> they do it's a it's a show about music you know so it makes sense. so that's that's what makes it really you special know? as opposed to like oh we don't want to pay money to have an orchestra so we'll just have our actors play the music right. yeah sorry that got a little jaded there for a second a little bit but it's true that's what people do that's that's the thing now like it used to be you have to be a triple threat now it's you have to be a quad no that's Quads four, right? Quads four. Yeah. Quadruple four. A, a, a quadruple threat to play At music. Least. Yeah, and a lot and it, it sort of bothers me like when it's not when they when they, meaning creative teams, mask it as like, oh, the concept of the show is that the actors play the music. Well, that's not a concept. That's just a way to save money. Well, yes and no. I think that there are shows that do it that way. And the two that I always think of is that there were two productions two sondheim productions in the mid 2000s that did it and i think one was a little tropey and Mm -hmm. that was the production of sweeney todd that did it and then i think one uh did it relatively well which was the production of company featuring raul esparza that did it okay uh because especially in uh in company like the way that they used the music was very good and how Bobby Bobby doesn't play an instrument until the end when he plays the piano in being alive. And for anyone who doesn't know companies about a uh, man in his, uh, you know, like turning 30, he's turning 30, right? This is 35, 35. He's turning 35. And at the time that the show was written, it was very, uh, and he's he's unmarried. Right. It was very strange at the time that the show was written for a 35 year old person to be unmarried. And Bobby, this character played by Raul Esparza in the production we're referring to, is well that that just makes sense. He's he's unmarried and he's also not playing an instrument. So just wanted to yes, give that context. It's about his relationship with women and with his and more specifically with his married friends. Yes. Uh Company's a great show. It's possibly my favorite musical. You should see it. Do you want to go see it? It's uh there's a theater doing it in a couple of weeks. Well, you, you caught me because we're doing a show where I say, where we say yes and. So do you not yes. like company? I I do like company. I don't really think it does much. It hasn't done much for me in the past. That's fair. I'm not 35, but I'm a single person. So yes, I probably would be very affected by this in some way if Maybe. I were to go see it. So that's not a reason to not see it. I'm just not chomping at the bit. But I I would go with you. Yeah. I'm not just saying that because it's what we do here. No, yeah. No pressure. I have I other people to go with me. <laughs> As he flips his hair. Yes. I can do that. <laughs> yeah. You, you have, can't. Yeah, I, I cut all my hair off. <laughs> Thanks for the hairbrush. Thanks for the hairbrush. All right. So uh, do you want to make a podcast, Joseph? I do, Jim Bloss. Excellent. Great. We did it. We've... We I just it. love that that goal is so easily achievable. What? We asked the question. And it's done. Yes, and it's done. We've done it. It's done. We've done it. That's it. Small achievable goals are so important. Yes. I think that's why I like video games all of a sudden. 
Yes. Well, there are many. Uh, yes, that's what the 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 gratification loop in video games is all about. Mm-hmm. So they get you to keep playing. Yep. But um, let's make one of those podcasts. However, we also have large goals because uh, we're on a quest to make the perfect podcast, and that's a little bit more macro. You know, micro yep. is making a podcast. Macro is making the podcast. Yes, and for new listeners, we we do this week after week, and I think that's what it takes to create the perfect podcast is yeah, constantly trying to find that oh, perfect yeah. idea. Oh, yeah. That formula. Yes. It's all about the formula. Baby. Speaking of formula, Jim and I each have a list of podcast ideas written by the other person, and uh, we're going to talk about them. <clears throat> Did you suss out my, my theme? Yeah, the uh, first three letters are S-U-S. Yes. That's why it was funny when I said, I hope you suss it out. Yeah, suss it out. Yes. I'm funny. I'm very uh-huh. clever. Um, and modest to boot. Yes. Mm-hmm. What do you yeah. have on your list there, Jim? That's correct. Uh, I have uh, some things on this list. Uh, specifically, I have uh, one thing on this list. And that thing is Connect Four. Now, let me tell you about an issue that I have. Okay. With with the game? No. Okay. I have okay. So I have several ideas for this for for, for a podcast for this pod, titled for this, Connect Four. For this prompt called Connect Four. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to uh, pitch one of them right now and then uh, use that prompt to connect to the other ones. Uh, Connect Four is a podcast where we connect four things that seem unrelated. Great. So the first thing that is is it, it the first thing is this premise of a podcast. Connect Four. I'm connecting four things. Okay. Next thing. Connect Four. That's a game. <laughs> yep. I did a bad job explaining that. Let me start over. Hold on. I got to get in the character. All right. Okay. This week on. Connect for the podcast. Jim Bloss will connect for seemingly unrelated things. Yes, hello. Welcome to Connect Four, where we connect for seemingly unrelated things. The first thing this week is Connect for the podcast. That's this one. Wow. It's great. Let's connect it to the first thing and then we can talk more about Connect for the podcast. Connect for the game. It's a game. It's a good game ish it's like tic-tac-toe but better what do you think joe uh yeah i I, i'd say the first way that is better than tic-tac-toe is uh within the first move of tic-tac-toe you can decide if the game will end or not is what yeah correct will end or not uh and in connect four there's i'm not gonna say a world of possibilities i have to measure out how many spots there are but you can't do that believe there are 42 there's 42 seven, seven by six In Connect 4, there are 42 possibilities of how the game could go. Oh, my friend. No, that's not how that works at all. Ooh, do the math for us, Jim. All right. Well, first, let's confirm how many spaces there are on a (laughs) Connect 4 grid. So I'm going to Google Connect 4. Here's our third thing to connect to. Math! Let's see. The board of Connect 4. Show me that pic. So there's 42 squares, right? Mm Mm-hmm. On any turn... Whoa. This is going to be wrong, and I'm going to get... Somebody's going to at me. But uh, on any turn, you could pick any one of the seven rows to drop down. Right. right? Oh, I'm going to cut out all this silence and make it sound like you are so fast with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, like, checking. So so the way that I think it would work, and um, if I'm wrong, I guess you can at me. Whatever. Uh... <laughs> Every turn, there are seven different possibilities of where you can drop down yep. the thing, right? Yep. So, like, right out of the gate, after two turns, there are 49 different possibilities mm, just there. Uh, so, if you now do that up to 42 times. Mm-hmm. So, uh, hey, Siri, what's seven to the 42nd power? 
Seven raised to the forty-second power is three one one nine seven three four eight two two eight four five four two three seven one three zero one three three zero three two one eight two one nine seven six zero four nine. Different possibilities. I, now, okay. Now I wow. think. Wow. Now that might be a little high, because you have to remember that. <laughs> I sure hope so. That once you fill a column, you can't fill it anymore. And also, the game ends once you get four in a row. Whew. So, you know, there are many different possibilities where you won't even fill the board. So that actually might mean that there's less possible, more possibilities. I would like to uh, connect this to our fourth thing. Very well. A common theme on the show. Uh, time travel, where you and I start playing a game of Connect Four, but then we travel across however many different timelines to see all the different ways that mm -hmm. that game could go. Mm -hmm. And that is the podcast. We have <laughs> thousands of episodes to, you know, yeah, built so in. Yeah, so every episode is a different, is, so every episode takes place with us playing Connect Four. If we go down that route. Right. And we and we and we we're can, still connecting four things, right? We're yeah, still we, connecting we, we our can things, play but the we're game of also connect, playing, playing Connect Four, yes. and trying to determine a new possibility of Connect Four, yes. And in the end, we'll be like uh, Doctor Strange in Avengers when he's like, "I've seen all, I've the seen all the different possibilities," and which is the one where we find the perfect podcast, and he's like, "One, one." <laughs> <laughs> uh. that would work so we're playing the game connect for across many timelines while at the same time connecting four seemingly meaningless or not meaningless seemingly unrelated things yes like math and time travel math time travel and connect for the game and Connect for the podcast. Connect for the podcast. I'm still a little confused on how Connect for the podcast is one of the things but that's fine uh, math and time travel are kind of related Maybe this, maybe this quest to connect uh, unrelated things will just ultimately show us how all things are actually connected. Wow, so zen. That's that's what I do. <laughs> wow, here we are. Welcome to our Zen podcast. Connect, connect four. Connect four. Om. Om. Okay, this is where we put in like a little, like you know, one of those like at the start of yoga. A sound put, effect. Like the little gong. Yeah, sound. I'll I'll put one of those in there. Here, okay. I'll hit one right now. Oh. oh, that's nice. Hello, and welcome to Connect Four. Okay, so now what I'm imagining is okay. like is like all those Zen like Zen garden sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yep. And a like, nice koi pond. And like wind, maybe some uh, wind chimes. You and I have turned into like Buddhist monks, and we have our heads shaved and with the robes, and we're sitting yes. on rocks playing Connect Four. With a game of Connect Four. That whiling is so away important. the hours. Yes. It's so important. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we still have our ways of bantering, but it's just calm with a smile. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Connect Four. Ding. <laughs> Enter this tranquil place with us and find how all things are connected. <laughs> we're we're joking, but I am so for this. Let's let's connect more th connect more the podcast. It sounds greedy. That's not that's not Zen. Uh, it's no, it's not I'm not saying connect all, connect everything. I'm saying connect if we want to connect more than four things, I want that option to be on the table it is next week <laughs> but i want to continue this bit <laughs> all right fine i feel limited i connect, feel stunted connect more connect more hello welcome to connect more where we try and connect even more than four <laughs> more than four with our brain holes <laughs> mm. Mm. oh I'm thinking of frogs on lily pads. What can we connect that to, Jim? That connects. <laughs> that connects to my vision of the Budweiser frogs. <laughs> yeah. Which is a connection to beer. Um, beer is a thing. 
the WB Bullfrog. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Ba 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 ba. Something something soul on fire. Is it soul on fire? Something like that. Oh. Um. <laughs> There's a scene in Spaceballs where they use that song. Yes. That connects. Uh, space balls. We're back on the Mel Brooks train. I love that we're back on the Mel Brooks train. Tweet, tweet. Your conductor all aboard. is the ghost of Gene Wilder. Oh, all aboard. Is he going to take us to a world of pure imagination? If you want a new paradise, simply look around and, and view, view it. it. <sighs> Anything you want to, do it. Oh, Johnny Depp's on this train, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. But it's not that Johnny... connects. That connects to uh, the next thing that I'm thinking of, an ejection button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, car gadgets connecting to Inspector Gadget. Great cartoon. Do-do-do-do-do. Inspector Gadget. Yes. do 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 Oh, um. <laughs> Inspector Gadget connects to Matthew Broderick, who played Inspector Gadget <laughs> in that terrible. Which is fitting as Inspector we're riding Gadget. the Mel Brooks train. Yes. Matthew Broderick was Leopold Bloom in both the stage version and the film adaptation of the stage version of the producers. Which connects back to Gene Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> who also played see everything is connected, is connected. <laughs> wow oh, I'm so glad we connected more than four you're right <laughs> this was good ding <laughs> wind chime wind chime wind chime now I have something on my list oh are we going to stay zen for it we can, but I don't think it'll last because what's on my list are suspicions. The cues! Mm. Oh, I don't know if you know this about me, Jim, but I'm a very suspicious man by nature. Amen. Or I, not, not like when you look at me, you get a suspicious vibe. I am suspicious of many things. Right. By nature. That's Granted, true. I ordered these little like webcam sliders. I put one on the front of my smartphone because I don't want anyone hacking into my smartphone to see my face. Now, are you going to put one on the back of your smartphone? No, because I don't care if, well, A. What about if you put your phone face down? Well, then it would just see the ceiling. I don't know. Somebody might be able to figure out who and where and what you are based on the scene. I could give you a whole lot of reasons why I'm not putting a webcam slider on the back of my phone, Jim. But the bottom line is the camera on the back of my phone is larger <laughs> than the slider. <laughs> so that's oh. why there isn't going to be one. Rats. Foiled again. Uh, but yes, I'm very suspicious of many things. I'm suspicious of things that seem too good to be true. I'm suspicious of things that... Uh, work well on the first try. I'm suspicious of used car salesmen. I'm suspicious of. You know what I'm supposed to. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's okay. You know what I'm sus. Nope. Come on, third time's a charm. I believe in you. I believe in you. Do you know what I'm suspicious of? Oh, I'm so proud. What? <laughs> what are you suspicious of? Your cliches <laughs> that you're using right now. What? You think I've scripted this? You think I came in here to our improvised safe space with a script? I'm sus... Oh, jeez. You're suscriptious? Yep. How would that be possible when you wrote the word suspicious on the list, James? Jacuz! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And I love the energy and the point you did. But what the hell does that mean? Uh, I believe it is just like French for I accuse you. Okay. Let's let's Google it. <laughs> hey Siri. Uh what does Oh jeez. What does jacuse mean? <laughs> Accuse means charge someone with an offense or a problem. Oh no, this is, no that's this just is why accuse. I don't like no. Siri. Jacuse Alright, here's what I got. Yeah, see? So <laughs> <laughs> she just needed here's, here's the, the tone in your yeah. voice. 
J'accuse <laughs> was an open letter published on 13 January 1898 in the newspaper Le, o- Le Aurore mm-hmm. by the influential writer Emile Zola. In the letter, Zola addressed President of France, uh, Felix Faure, uh, and accused the government of anti-Semitism and the unlawful jailing of Alfred Dreyfus, a French army general staff officer who was sentenced to lifelong penal servitude for espionage. Zola pointed out judicial errors and lack of serious evidence. So it's 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 an accusation. It's just an accusation. Okay, so I'm glad you... But it's fun to say, is it not? Jacques! Yes! One of my my favorite (laughs) favorite bits... um, I I I ever did while playing a board game was um <laughs> I was playing because uh, sometimes you have to like spice it up because it's a boring game. Uh, I e uh, yeah. Clue. Okay. So every time I entered a room in Clue and got to guess someone, I would first shout Jacques. <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, then, and then proceeded to yeah. play the game. Now I'm glad that. The very definition of j'accuse brought up the government because I'm suspicious of the government. Oh, geez. Especially after watching the new biopic on Dick Cheney, Vice. Apparently not super true to life. What? Only semi true. The life. movie starts with saying this is based on a true story, given how much we could uncover. Basically, they mentioned that Dick Cheney was such a secretive person. Yeah. That they had to take liberties. Yeah. I'm suspicious of biopics because they're very <laughs> convincing. Oh yes. oh, yes. Biopics are, it's not a documentary. And you have to remember that right. as you watch a biopic. Yeah. I'm suspicious of the media. I'm suspicious of the right wing, the left wing of all the wings. I'm just a suspicious Sam. Are you suspicious? Oh, geez. It's all right. Are you suspicious of birds? Well, you got it on the second try. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, certain birds. Yeah. Just because you were suspicious of the left wing the and right the right wing. wing. The wings upon, the, the wings that birds have. Yeah, if I see a bird outside my window that's not a seasonal bird to my area, where I've never seen that kind of a bird before, I'm just kind of like, what you doing there, bird? And you know what that connects to? Your suspicion of the government. Yes. Because clearly it's just the government watching you. Yes. Absolutely. Because they have nothing better to do than to watch you. <laughs> you joke. Watch do, me. Do, 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 you know what do, I say. Do, 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 watch do. me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Ooh, ooh. Watch you whip. 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 Now watch me nay nay. <laughs> now watch me whip. Whip. Watch me nay nay. I used to like to sing that song, uh, like an opera singer. A la Forrest Whitaker. Oh, no, he didn't do that. He sang Dick in a Box. Did he? Yeah, he did. As an opera singer? We're going to have to link this in the show notes. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. What I'm thinking of is like this this Instagram clip of a choir singing it operatically. Oh, yeah. It being the, the whip, the whip nay, and nay nay song. Nay. Yeah. But yeah, Forrest Whitaker singing Dick in a Box is truly a treasure. Gem of a... Dick in a Box always pops up back on my timeline every Christmas, and I think, wow, what a comedy revolution Dick in a Box was. <laughs> um, I think Threw It on the Ground was pretty great. I mean, just the SNL digital shorts in general. Yeah. Pretty good. Hmm. Lazy Sunday. That's a good one. Lazy Sunday. And that connects to, I'm suspicious of calendars. <laughs> And the, why? Go on. Did, why did we make them up? Why? Why? I'm do we suspicious need to... of time. Yes, it's. Why does time exist? It's a man-made convention. It's just a way to enslave you, man. It's just it's a just, construct. It's a way to keep you down, yeah. man. It's a construct. This man. is how. All right, I think I found the voice of this podcast. Suspicious. Where we talk about all the stuff. That I just, that makes me kind of squirm and cringe, man. I just trust it. No way, man. No way, man. This podcast is all about the man, man. This makes me think of the Big Lebowski. (laughs) Speaking of great films. Oh, 
Be Still My Heart. Great film. The Big Lebowski. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> Jeff Bridges is a national treasure, methinks. That's a, Agree that's or a good, disagree? Agree. Okay. I mean, I have no reason to not think that. I can't think of too many movies with a minute. Movies. Too many movies. Jim, you've been struggling with words today. I'm suspicious that you're not a robot. A robot that's on the fritz. What? What? Yeah, you can't say suspicious. What? You can't say movies. Movies is an easy one. Movies is an easy one. Ugh. I don't know what. I'm such a, such Such a, such a, such a. a, 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 (laughs) What? No, I'm just kidding. My suspicions are being slowly confirmed. Mom, if I die, it's because this like robot that I think was Jim totally killed me. And I don't think he can hear me whispering. Look, Joe. Look, Joe. Look at my two hands. And look at how one is a normal hand and how the other one is currently a chainsaw. (gasps) And tell me I'm a robot. Clearly, I am not a robot. Yeah, clearly, yeah, you're definitely not a robot. I have no more suspicions. This is Suspicious, the podcast, where I talked about uh, the suspicions I used to have, but I don't anymore because I'm afraid for my life. What happened to your balls? They got almost chopped off by your fucking chainsaw. Oh, my. That's intense. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh. it. That's it. That that's intense. I am so terrified. Be a, um. be a, be a, be a, be afraid. <laughs> oh, now, now it sounds like Porky Pig. There's so much going on with this Jim bot. I'm just wondering what happened to the real Jim. Where is he? Is he trapped? Is he in some sort of crystal prison? Does he need me to 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 save him or to bring him here by some? Interdimensional means? I, 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 I don't... (gasps) Oh, no. I'm suspicious if I'm a robot, bot, 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 bot. Okay, we're just not going to think about, about, about this. You are a robot. Die, robot. What? (laughs) Oh, wait. Now I'm here alone. Hello, I podcast by my set, 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 self. Oh, jeez. Well, it... <laughs> oh. Wow, this is one of the... I guess... Well, we're out of time today, folks. Uh, Joseph's body? I think we've had some great ideas today, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Oh, my robot body healed itself. That is amazing. Oh, I was just about to get up and, like, nod your head. You. you can still nod my head. I was I'll gonna, you going to weaken it, Bernie, too. <laughs> you know, Jim, I've, I've accepted the fact that I'm a robot now. You know? Uh, you know what the most fun about part about being robots is? I, ne- I, don't, I don't feel like I have to pee. That's new. Oh, I was going to say how we'll forget about it next week and never mention it again. Hey, yeah, you're right. (laughs) Isn't that magical? It is. I guess we'll just get a firmware upgrade between now and then, and it'll probably wipe our our hard drives clean. Right, but they'll re-upload all the episodes of the podcast except the second half of this one. Yeah. So we'll probably have to do the suspicions thing again. (laughs) Or maybe they'll make it so we can't do the suspicions again. Also, who is they? They is... Probably the human versions of us. Or the government. I'm, I have my suspicions. That I do. I am the law. <laughs> uh, this has been fun. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, Be sure to tell friends. Follow us on social media. All that good stuff. I'm trying to use the Twitter more. So uh, <laughs> if you tweet at me, I'll do that. If you don't tweet at me, then... There goes that motivation. But I'm sorry. Um, Yeah, tell a friend. Hit us up with five stars. Help us climb those charts. You can find us at Do You Want to Pod. You can find me on all the usual dating apps. 
Thanks for listening. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. I love you. Bye. Force me to smoke crack Or do